In this video, we want to see how to create sequential numbers 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, or the other common sequential number 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. These are common formula number incrementers we use inside of formulas. Now we're going to see how to do this with the Microsoft 365 sequence function. Hey, I've done tons of other videos that feature the old method. You can check out this video here if you want to see how to do it in older versions. Now the trick is you need to know how many groups of numbers. So we're going to have 24 groups, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, that's two groups. There's going to be three items in each group for a total of 72 rows. We use the sequence function, number of rows, 72. And we need to start at 0, so I'm in a comma, assume the default of 1, and we'll start at 0. Now when we hit Enter, the results spill down the column. Starting at 0, Control down arrow, ending at 71, Control up arrow. In the top cell, where the formula lives, because none of the cells below contain the formula, top cell F2. Now we divide by the number of groups, 3. And when we hit Enter, we get groups, 0 and some decimals, 1 and some decimals. If we take the integer part of each one of these, we'll get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and so on. Top cell, F2. After the equal sign, we use the integer function. Close parentheses and Enter. We almost have what we want in the top cell. Now we add 1. And that's our formula to get 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, and so on. To get 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, we start with the same formula element. But instead of dividing and getting the quotient, we use the mod function, which will divide that sequence of numbers, comma, by 3. But it'll give us the remainder, close parentheses, and Enter. Same thing at the top, F2, we add 1. Now, when would you use these? Well, there are hundreds of different formulas where you're required inside the formula to increment numbers like this. Let's look at an example for each one of those. Now, I created these formulas for the numbers we used from this data set. And I'm going to copy the inside of this. And over here, we used end of month to convert these to the end of the month. This is one of the data analysis tool pack add-ins. And it can't handle arrays unless you have a double negative. But we take the whole column. We take the end of the month 0 and then get a unique list. Now look at that. That's one of each of the end of the months from this data set. But we want to repeat each month three times. Well, there's the formula number incrementer, which gives us 1, 1, 1. I want to look up that first item three times. And then 2, 2, 2. I want to look up the second item three times. So we put that as the array of lookup values inside of index. There's the array argument, comma, and then row number. There's that magic formula number incrementer. And when I hit Enter, now we've repeated each one of those items three times. Now we probably want to sort this array just in case the dates in the data set are out of order. It won't change the effect here, but that's a safeguard. Now we'll use inside the array of index a unique list sorted from the product column. If we look at that, it gives us three items. Those are the lookup values that we need to look up, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So we put that as the array inside of index, comma. And for row number, Control V. There's our formula number incrementer. Close parentheses and Enter. And here are three videos where we use that exact pattern, 1702, 1703, and 1707. All right, so when you need to get a pattern, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, there's your formula. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there's your formula. And of course, if I change this, then we get 5 repeated and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Control Z. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.